moment in your bones when when the fire takes over blood is running heart is pumping as the battle gets closer they can say what they want now cuz we'll be screaming now Nabalik tayo sa 2018 Bacchus Pro Gaming Series Spring Split Ako pa si Volcan, kasama ko si Artek Kami ang magiging Shaka sa sinyo Pagpuntang Game 5 ng Match 1 Ito na sa Quarter Finals Yung Silver Scrapes So Artek Sorry, Artek, coming back from that Game 4 Now moving on to Game 5 I would say for TMA and Naga Esports Medyo back against the wall here Yeah, it's no, 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 back, back against the wall, overused. Uh, they're in a cage. Both of them are in a cage, and now there's only one piece of pizza in the middle of the cage. Wow, what kind of pizza is this? Are we talking pan? No, please not. Oh, no. no. But anyway, yeah, <laughs> talking about that, I have to agree with you there. Kumaga, actually, appropriate. Kumaga, death match na to. Para sa TME at Naga Esports, do or die. Whoever loses this, loses out on the dream of making it as a BGS champion. So, what? Diana, nakikita nyo, tutu na ngayon. Will it remi remain a dream? Don't let your dreams be dreams. Just do it. Yes. So, for Team Manila Eagles, they will try and just do it. And as for Naga Esports, semi-finals in the first run of their spring split entering the PGS a rookie top player like Iconic would feel very happy to achieve that not just them well the returning players also Rebenga who is used to that environment wants to bring the same joy for his team but but guys there's always a but for Team and Eagles the defending champions they also want to go back to that glory it mm -hmm. tastes so good and you would want to taste it again for TME. Yes, but of course, going into this match right here, natin, I'm really interested kung may makikita ba tayong sudden oh, picks from either side kasi make it Pocket or break picks. it na. So, kung may tinatago pa sila, ito na ang pagkato na gamitin na dapat yun kasi this game could make it or break it for either one of these teams right here. Pero so far, consistent pa rin talaga ang respeto ng Team Manila Eagles dito kay Calculated. Patuloy pa rin Natalia, Anivia, Ari, matatanggal kay Karyo. Not just that, Artek, we are seeing this Tristana being the priority for Naga Esports. And why is that? Bakit kaya? Kasi it goes to Luxurious. So tingin nyo sa game 2 and 3, getting him pop pop, letting him pop off. He saw that he was able to fight back and win some games here. So yung Tristana, in a way, that's his best pick here. So they would go for the Tristana. They would trade it off even for a Skarner or at this point, or risk it for a Sidwani. Interesting. So, so far, Team Manila Eagles are receiving a lot of solidarity with their picks. Pero in the midst of that, Rebenga is going to be going for yet another champion na kaya talagang kumataw at uminfluensya within the earlier phase pa lang para mas maganda ang maging travel ng Naga Esports into the later parts of the game and maybe into a victory. Pero ding natin, of course, the top catch will also be taken naman para dito kay Neep and in response to that, Alistar actually going to be locked in for Rock. So, mohang mukha mad ka ulit si Rock sa mamaya maya sa Summoner's Rift para sa mga magandang set. Yes, the ball will try to leave the team in the Igus, pero I'm looking right now. Summoners, I'm looking right now sa band ng mga TME. You can see a lot of focus to the mid lane. But, we all know that. This was what I was actually I was waiting for a rise pick because 
they banned up the ceiling that Trevor had really hard time with a rise. So I thought maybe they would try to give that to Trevor, but that's ridiculous. Why? Because they already locked in that Galio. So Trevor, we were playing that Galio with the rise here. So let's see, that's actually, in a way, Galio can, it's not really a good or bad matchup. It's a okay matchup. So yeah, for Team Manila Eagles. This will conclude their drafting phase. But we also have to take into account Grabe Naga Esports. Alatang mapapansin mo, they're really pulling out the stops, giving the clip to Iconic. Naalala mo yung isang game na talaga napatunayan ni Iconic na it's kind of pop off. Yes. That was the, the game where the clip was able to snowball, propel, and lead the charge for Naga Esports' victory. But now, Arctic. This is the time where we try and observe the team's mentality, the psyche. They're, I would say, uh, jitters yep. that we can experience in the early phases of the game. But right now, I'm more curious to see who will be moving on to the semifinals. Yes, this is going to be very interesting indeed. We can see summoners for both ah. sides. Compositions are locked in. I'm kind of liking... Let's go ahead and check out... Uh, Naga Esports but here first. So I think I like to check out the bands here, Art, because yeah. things are taking more. Five bands to calculate it. This is in a way for TME to really bottleneck the pool of cards. Yeah. But are you talking about a player that has such a broad pool? Even if that doesn't make it a lot, he can use, let's say, even though it's out of meta, you mga Zoe or Leblanc, but yes. in the end, he won't be picking up the rise. Sorry. And now, I think Arctic, you're about to go on to the rim. Ayan na nga po mga kaibigan last dito na game. magkakaalaman. Yeah, last game indeed, Vulcan. Let's see. Game 5, Naga Esports. Team Manila Eagles, it's that moment right here to keep the dream alive. Patatapos na ba ng Naga Esports ang kanilang business dito sa PGS by making it all the way as a potential championship contender? Or will TME crush that and continue to soar above and beyond? Mm -hmm. Well said there, Arctic, because... Now Esports, they entered the Spring Split because they, because they have unfinished business where they were not able to secure, let's say, one of the playoff spots to make it to the finals. They wanted to make it to the finals to show that in this Spring Split 2018 that they have what, still what it takes as now Esports as one of the or, a really old Esports organizations, I would say. Mm -hmm. And with that, I think with Minions that structure right there, we got, it's pretty much a culmination I think of they have all the resources to go for oh, yeah. all through the Springs. I mean, they have the resources. They also have the players who are dedicated, I would say, towards the Springs. But so it's showing right now because they made it this far. Yeah, and I don't know. Naga Esports still definitely looking like a contender here. Para magproceed to the semifinals. I mean, Naga Esports has had quite a number of surprising victories within their last weeks during the group stage. Very surprising. Very surprising indeed. So I think that was just a good showing of what they can do as a team. But of course, this is the playoff that they're in right now. No more room for error. And we all know that Team Manila Eagles proven and tested na yan na kaya nilang mag-perform amidst yung mga ganitong pressure situations. So, Naga Esports, yun pa na, yun actually yung medyo question ngayon. Like, how will Naga Esports do? For them, I would say... Rather well, because they do have two veteran uh, players on their side. They calculated as Siribenka. But for Team Manila Eagles, everyone had exposure in the GPL. Everyone had exposure to the Olympic stage. They know how it feels. They know that the pressure can get to them. This is the defending champions of the 2017 Summer Split. To expect that, they will try and live up to that name. Yeah, and you also have, you've been talking about veterans. You also have to take into account si Luxury at si Meron din silang long-standing experience dito sa PGS. Yan nga lang, medyo hindi siya kasi bigat nung what calculated and Rebenga brings to the table. Kasi, I mean, Luxury, medyo nagkaroon siya ng absence along with it. As of Splits Pass, na-pick up naman si Luxury nung Asian Arena, pero... Didn't quite work out for sure. <laughs> but at least for Luxury, he was still in the scene. But when you're talking about for the bit players, his name, I think his absence was rather long. Definitely. I mean, from the time he was on Explicit, that was like, what, a season, a season and a half to two? So, it's a lot. But in all fairness, we can see that he hasn't dogged his yep. mechanics. So, right now, in the mid, they were seeing 
Oh, look at this. First pass at stake here. I don't think Calculator was expecting this gang. He does weave it out, being at the members, flash in and out. Looks like Trevor instead of mm. just dispudging towards the two members Naga. He will just get away. That was rather curious. That I was, was actually expecting a uh, I was expecting a first blood arc. First blood, maybe a double kill, but I guess not. Looks like TME. pull ng trigger. As far as wanting to secure that first blood, ayaan na lang nilang si Carculated at si Rebenga. Ayaan mo sila. <laughs> so for the first blood being not yet secured by both teams, we are now asking everyone in that youtube chat or facebook live who are you rooting for because at yeah. this point yung sa quarterfinals natin medyo delikado yung mga small mistakes sa mga players natin sa pgs so magkonting mistakes makita yan sa mga players so it can really affect how you play and you also have to take into account na through these quarterfinals Take the quarterfinals pa lang to guys nagaabang pa si mineski tsaka si pnc sa kung sino ang makakalaban nila and technically Regardless of kung sino manalo dito, de depende pa rin yung seeding na yan sa kung sino rin naman manalo dun sa match two. Mm -hmm. So, so for the match two, it will be very interesting because again, we're seeing another crew of like Barca Extra Esports. One of the teams will face against IPT, the Green Pro team. So, we're seeing Naga and BRA facing against two well-established pro teams yes. in the PGS. So, can they overcome it? We will see. But as of now, let's focus right now to our match one, TME. Is one point away to continue themselves to defend their title on for Naga Esports. Very close to achieve and approach the semi finals and still a shot towards the finals. Yes, and looks like so far, nakita natin kung ganung ka calculated. With no fun to calculate, by the way. <laughs> Yung yeah. mga players natin ngayon, hindi sila masyadong to push ng boundaries. Talagang nag-aabang lang sila ng tamang moment. Mukhang Koops has found that moment in the form of Rubenga. We'll go for the chills. Alam nila yung mga limits sa mga champions nila. Tapos yung anong kaya nila mag at least to over to commit. They know when to stop. They know when to go in. But sometimes that can really be foggy. Like oh yeah. Blurred up because you get impatient. I mean, at a, at a point where your whole career as a pro player, your whole journey through is built over spine if you went through with it. It's kind of unfair for them that it's just decided in a span of two months. I mean, only yeah. seven weeks of our group stage is now entering the quarterfinals. It's really going to test your physique. Yes, and I guess with that in itself, kumbaga, with the time, it's I don't necessarily consider it a time constraint. Kumbaga, it just means na must be rewarding in a way so they really feel that they are worthy. Yes, it feels better. It, in return for experiencing that much pressure, in the end, this will give them such a huge confidence boost, Arctic. And now, it looks like look, Koops, having a lot of Crystal Spire still on his side, I don't think Rebecca can try and contest or steal camps because it's really difficult. When the stunner has to spire up, but for Naga Esports going in for the dot. Park Lady going into the ball and gets the root onto the Alistar. Eats him up with a hero that enters. Trevor wow. comes in for the save. He will not let Rocks die just yet. Don't get the first blood, bro. Yep. Napagandang response yun ng Garen K. Trevor using the hero's entrance para mapigilan ng Naga Esports ang pag decimate dito kay Rocks. At saktong sakto yung timing niya kasi nakapag flash out si Rocks into safety. Pero dahil nga dyan, Mukhang hinay-hinay muna tayo ulit Vulcan Hindi pa tayo makakita ng unang shed ng dugo <laughs> Tinagalog talaga yun Are they, are they, are they Pag mo pilitan magtagalog, yes. hindi mo kaya Sige, sige Well, that should go to me, Arctic yeah. But as of now, yes, yung unang dugo wala pa sa laro natin So first blood is actually a lead that you want to get here in the PGS Not to mention at Game 5 so as I said, I would want to actually see the shield of blood because after that, measure your icebreaker like in a yes. day. After that goes out, it's like okay, first blood shed. I don't care anymore. I would try and go in and get a kill for myself. Whoa! And then we go for a triple gank here. What a huge lockdown! That's easy, but sadly enough. Rocks would get the first blood because when you talking about first, I think we were hyping you first blood, Arctic. But yep. the punta sa support, paano yan? So he will not get the full value there, but at least it can help Rocks build tankier so that they can dive more, at least invest it so they could make it into more kills. Yeah, in all fairness, though, to Team Manila Eagles, 
Kubaga, they just had to put it to chance as to who that last kill was going to go to because they had to layer their CC perfectly in order to have secured that first blood. Now, hita naman natin si Karkay did actually up yung flash niya the whole time. Pero, mm. dahil sa fluidity, dahil sa consistency, dahil sa magandang layering ng crowd control ng team Manila Eagles, hindi nabigyan ng pagkakataon si Karkay did na maka flash out, mamba out, dun sa gang. Ayun. And hindi lang yan kasi you, let's say that you wanted to get the first blood, but you're also denying the first blood to the opponent. That could be a way you could see it. So that Cook could, was not leading it to chance. We don't want anyone to get the first blood, we want it to be us. And now, Rocks going in with the ball, headbutts him away from the turret. I don't think he will survive. It pumps the fix, kid to try to save himself. Trying to get a stacks onto Marky, but in the end, Marky with the Caitlyn will pick up that kill. Yep, didn't even attempt to go for the turret. They know very well that he's just gonna rock to jump his way out of there. So why not just go? For you imagine must immobile the target in the form of Reef and this Tom Kench at worked out. And uh, one thing that I did notice as well, though, kung mapapon sin mo, napaha ganda na ng CS difference na the build up, na papa bor, dito kay Marky, dito sa bot lane. So si Luxury, imagine na huhuli na ng onte as far as that build up. And mukhang susulit na rin to ng team na ligas yung itong absence ni. Luxury, para makapag shout in, pero may nakit. First, ako. Turret is at yes. risk here, and calculated going towards the. But oh, exciting, but anticlimactic. Or will it be? Nick eats up Gardner late, oh. and that's going to set up a very painful knockout with the heroes and discouraged for Trevor. And now Mark will be able to keep Gardner late. I call it with a teleport with the charge to the Eagles. Will they get a pick up here? Looks like we're seeing rocks low and have pops his unbreakable will. Will survive the damage. The same with Nick. Trevor with a thought onto Iconic, dismounted Scarlet's God and respecting the flash. Your Benga with the two man knockoff. This is a cleanup. Yes, looks like the cleanup crew has come, and that cleanup crew's name is not the Esports, as that will secure the almost an ace, almost, almost an ace, but not close enough. But the cleanup was there, Arctic Day. Just turn things around. TMA wanted that first turn, but Lago was like, no, no. They wanted the first turn for themselves because what happened? But because they're in first gun, it will be too much, and I don't think Lago wants that. They also want to take something from the turn, trade for trade. Yeah, see nothing in the reality to replay. So we calculated. Well marks in onto the members of Team Manalinos. Actually, kung titingnan mo, itong simula naman talaga para sa TMA. Maganda yung simula. They were able to get calculated right away. Ang naging problema dito, um, was medyo masyado nang matagal yung invest na time on resources time ng TMA effort. dito. Exactly. And with that time and effort, it just gave enough time for Rebecca to respond to this fight. And here, kung titingnan mo si Luxuria, sobrang healthy niya. Nakapag-free hit lang siya amidst yung nangyari dito sa bot lane. At yun ang hindi masyadong na-respeto ng si Manil Eagles. So, at that point, it was just pretty much the clean-up brigade. Naga Esports is the name, and just the wipeout right there. Good step up for him. Oh, in front of Trey, being contested here by Naga Esports. Will it take it down here? That would be an against in their zone. That would be fire and on their side. So, I don't think they... Oh, they don't see. Oh, he does not survive at all. He could not do anything here. Calculated with the rise, with the roots, dealing so much damage. AOE, TME, scrambled around. Looks like Koops already went out of the fight, leaving behind Trevor and JLC for the Naga Esports to eat up. Yeah, and at the end of the day, that does end in a 2 for nothing so far. So TME, they're pa rin ni Rox at Marky the chance to contest them. They're going to win. It's hard because I'm no healthy too. So maybe just a snipe there. Or they will try to get something instead of the Inferno. Now by coming in, JLC has... No, he does not have the ultimate, but he has the rupture. To set it up for Marky, satisfying flag. It was for oh, and now no. Trevor with a flash going in and gets the ton mid air and knocks them up. Oh, Ansarap! Yes, man, that was beautiful. Coming in from Team Manila Eagles. Unfortunately, si Luxuria. Kaya yun na maliyot talon niya straight into the ton coming in from Trevor. I'm surprised he did not see that coming. Did so, you see the pacemaker popping it up with yeah. the justice punch, setting up with the winds of war, and then pew, for an easy double kill. Yeah, that was a great conversion coming in from Team Manila Eagles. Let's check out that replay once again, though, because there's a lot of action happening in this game thus far. So, see, Markets here, Rocks. It was a bit of a risk to linger because we're going to see what happens. Numbers advantage, though, for us uh, Nog Esports, but it took a bit of a while for that dragon to go down, and as a result, 
medyo na chunk si Iconic sa pagtake ng Dragon at apaganda ng teleport ng Trevor dito catches oh both Meep and Luxuria so napakaganda talaga Vulcan it's not just the it's the fact that Trevor is really making those teleport plays but then Naga Esports will try to make their own and now it's their time to try here they're clocked up together into the dry brush here comes Luxuria will it just thought would be enough for Naga Esports to fight back no Trevor with the address will knock up Luxuria actually denied that wrong because he could not get away just in time with the impale dragging him back and Cardinal Layla could not do anything iconic still has scarl just a bit of help there going on the rocks the pull rise does miss he will be taken down but the focus is on the need that tom catch will not get anywhere man marky starting to fire uh, out of control here but w suddenly thought mm. voila but it's still on cool down but in the end long esports will, will still take down one member but it's a two for one trade and at most Young Rise is really not dealing a lot of damage here because TM they're forcing a fight. They don't want to start. Yeah, I think that's what happened in the replay. Na to. So, Iconic easily makes the set up. Rocks, of course, will be blocking it out. He was the immediate oh. target that Iconic was able to convert onto. So, look at this though. So, major clumped up in Naga Esports Dito. Calculated and Luxuria. These are the two major damage dealers you want to rely on. I'm actually surprised that it's not a Naga Esports yung opportunity na to kasi perfect na perfect yung position nito na maabuso ng Tristana tsaka ni Carculated on this rise. It's very really difficult because the, the, we just saw that Coops with the Predator effectively forced Carculated flash out. That was like, he, he was forced to go around it. That's such a heartbreaker. As yes. Arctic said, yeah, that was such a good spot for them but Coops is Skarner with the zone. Yeah, the zone in. Just didn't allow Luxuria and Carculator to respond fast enough. Could have potentially done great for Naga Esports, but good on TME to at least isolate the members that could have carried that fight into another small victory, into an ace potentially even for Naga Esports. Okay, kill score is 7 to 9 here. The gold lead is in favor of TME. Lee. Just 2,000, and he can still bounce back here for TME. The momentum is not really, really on their side here. Not, it's not on anyone's side because. Game 4, you need to have a fresh mentality here and try to shake things up. But well, looks like a duo will have it in the bot lane. Yeah. This mount iconic. So it's the roster and the it. slow. The feast is available and flashes in to gobble him up. Yeah, that's a dead yordle right there from the side of Naga Esports. Of course, amidst that, though, Mabibi and Napakata on TJLC to just take freely whatever waves are there to farm towards the bot side as TME makes a practice move na he take down the mantong turret he's just the top side mukhang kailangan nang ibigay ko ng Naga Esports he actually has to go for the save onto Luxuria but yeah unfortunately turret actually not picking up the same effect until the first set Whoa! Oh, what was that immediately Rebenga's engage just got denied the impale the pulverized the interaction was freaky but the result was good for Team Manila Eagles right now Yuck. And now it's Naga Esports going for a pick up here. Trevor does strike over the wall and now Coops. Ooh. Will be forced to get picked up there. Run more. Okay, great well move from coming from Cartier Lane. It restarts the fight here. They initiate back in Marky. Yeah, he's not going anywhere. That's a shutdown to the clan. Iconic will pick it up here and now Coops. I don't think he was able to do anything there. I mean, he did make the flashy plays, but in the end, he did burn that impale. Man, but with all said and done, these fights keep on going back and forth. At Wuhan Naga Esports, they're going to come up with a better prize as a result of their proactivity. At Sanahitanaten, they will manage to take out the Rift Herald here. So, good value. Okay, the Rift Herald is still up for grabs, and I think it is. We'll be taking this away, and it's great because Arctic, you're seeing that the next trick is the Infernal Break. 30 seconds left on that timer, so we can use this Rift Herald as a distraction or a diversion. Okay. But I'm um, wondering, anong kayang, sa anong opportunity magamit ko ng Naga Esports para nga mas mapabel yung lead nila against Team Manila Eagles? Kasi so far, very even out pa rin yung nakikita natin. Wala pa rin tayong nakikita clear lead, pero siguro, what I can point out here though is mas balance siya para sa Naga Esports, mas maganda yung distribution kung ikukumpara mo dito sa Team Manila Eagles na talagang nakafocus yung dami ng kills dito kay Marky. All the kills going to Marky will be worth it because this Caitlyn is so effective at taking out turrets thanks to the traps to really bottleneck the movement of Naga Esports. 
Pero Artek, nabuhay na yung Infernal Drake. Ano, magkaya, ano kaya magkaya dito? I mean, we're seeing at this point, Iconic is trying to make some room here, but he can't do much. Seeing that five men is already around the river. The fire is on their side. Infernal Drake! Ah, oh, got the reset, and then he will start the fight. Impale was out there, but they were not able to secure the kill. So Rebecca uses the left bomb to escape, and now they don't have the tools. They don't have it anymore. They burned it just to get away. Now TME with the Galio, with the Chogat, they have the pickup, they have the CC, and that would be the round mark. Can't think. Cancel. Man, with that, that was absolutely insane. Team Manila Eagles, again, a turnaround for them. We're seeing a game of ping ball on Summoner's Rift right now. At mukhang, <laughs> interesting enough, kanina nga, with these fights, wala ito tayong nakakita ng moment na yung teams. Medyo may premium na kukuha. Kanina sa last fight, yung Rift, Herod, ngayon naman, Infernal Drake. So, tingnan nyo yung nangyari dito. Tia, I mean, they're actually trying to go for the Dragon. That will be the reset, though. I think one of the crucial points here is that Naga Esports, they were a little bit scattered here. They were forced to just um, they separate with Trevor going in with the hero's entrance. And from what you can see, let's bounce Rebecca into a place where it wasn't really as of significance. And I think that was pretty crucial because since Rebecca wasn't they really doing anything, anything um, with the let's bounce, it just allowed TME to turn on to the rest of the members knowing that Rebecca, he won't be doing much amid the channeling of the let's bounce into pretty much nothing. So very well played by Team Ligos. Yes, they did manage to get away with their own Colonel Trick Arc deck. The Baron is live right now for Nano Esports. They will be using the Herald, but the turret will not get taken down. VLC. Ah, oh, pops the glory. But we're seeing a re-engage. Watch the Zack and the Clad going to the backline of TME. Now they're trying to kite for Margie. Margie with the traps oh, here. No. Immediately. Oh my god. Stops the tracks of the play. And now with the Galio, the front line causing the three members of ME. Now leaving behind Rebecca here with the Zack. That will be Team Manila Eagles mowing down here. They will just take away this game or the game may just move on to the semi-final. Oh man, this is so big for Team Manila Eagles. They're just cleaning up Naga Esports. At mukhang itutuloy nila yung pag-shove. They're gonna be taking the second tier turret. Itutuloy pa kaya nila to into a potential inhibitor turret. Still though, it might be risky. Members of Naga Esports are gonna be going up in just a bit. Looks like they are gonna take a chill pill for now. We'll be going back. Pero nakita naman natin, Vulcan, malinaw na malinaw. Nagbe-build up na talaga kung doong TME. Kailangan na kumilas ng Naga Esports. So and check out this replay right here. So, Rebenga tries to go in for an initiate, hits the back line. Cook's probably not the best target to go for here. And in the midst of that, the rest of Team Manila Eagles, they're busy with this front line. Nobody was able to get onto Marky. And Marky's just so painful at this point. Luxuria also encountered a position wherein Bubaba na yung health niya. So, napakalaking damage ang nawala dito across the board from Naga Esports because Luxuria had to keep distance to Amigo from the rest of TNE. And it was just a huge collapse from here. Still, look at this. All, a lot of tanky oh, members yeah. in the front line for TME. So, just beautifully placed. Well played for the Chogat with a rupture to deny that rocky jump. And now the two man taunt. Rebecca, okay, there's the four man. Oh, what a delivery, but no one to see it being delivered to them. No damage follow up there from NE. And now it will be Demon Little Eagles immediately re engaging the fight here. That Chogat with the slow, with the scream and the rupture. What a great pickoff. Yeah, and look at this. Iconic, he's trying to push out this bot lane, pero he has to make a quick back. Or actually, he's gonna go ahead and continue it. He's gonna take that risk of trying to. Ah, I in. love this. I love this game of gamble here. Iconic will be pushing it in the bot lane inhibitor turret. I don't think this will be fast enough though. No. Iconic, he's gonna have to back away. Pero looks like TME, they're gonna reward themselves because of iconic stubbornness to continue in the bot lane by going for this barrel. I think that was a. Uh, was that a stubbornness there, Artic? Because, yeah, I gotta agree with the Baron. It's like, oh, you're not getting anywhere. One way to get in, boy. I'm Ross with the Alistar. Boom, arises so that immediately they pick them off. Woo. Did you see the black stone? Oh, dear lord. Looks like TME punishing NE. Now, Nago Esports, they're now not being coordinated here, going on on their own, and TME will. Just take advantage of the miscoordination. Yeah, Naga Esports, they're just shaking at this point. I don't. There's a lot of questionable play, plays that happen across the board. That most recent one, Luxuria jumping in into imminent death. So, yeah, last goal, and he was such like, a shame. Last goal, in. Wait. Rocks was right there, waiting. I'm like, okay, then he came back in. Nope. Q. And was he, that 
it was at that moment where the Shuri realized that he screwed up. So, quite unfortunate, but let's see if Naga Esports can turn things around. Look, 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 Shuri. Yeah, we'll see. Low on that. Oh. They will try and fix their mistakes here, but Driver immediately removes the Shuri. The realm what was used, but the numbers were too focused on Trevor because they were saying that Luxuria is gonna kill somebody, help him! But no, no one's helping him. They want to go into JLC, but in the end, tunnel vision there. And now, is this the game? This is going to be the game, Summoners! We have our semi-finals. Yes, we do indeed, Vulcan. Look at the death timers right here. Luxuria is gonna be up any second now, so baka ito ang maging ticket ng Naga Esports just to keep the dream alive. Pero mukhang very intent ang Team Manila Eagles natapusin ang game na to. Luxury is up now. Let's see what he does. Oh, he's gonna jump out of there. Has to <laughs> just jump into safety. He just jumps to safety, but as of now, they are alive here. That's oh! Like, what just happened? Oh, the shiv and the cannon plus the IE. Satisfying, but you know what's more satisfying? TMA with the endurance surviving the best of five series they will be the one to come on top man that was absolutely amazing team and eagles indeed keep the dream alive of potentially defending their position as a champion will proceed to the semi-finals absolutely well played i gotta say team Malala eagles they were very resolute in their cause Naki esports for some reason i don't know what happened there earlier in the game it was still going pretty okay imagine like the pink ball pa. Ping pong, ping pong, pa yung laro. But it came to a point where, in once TME started winning fights uh, consistently, then the major like crumble in Esports. They started making questionable plays as far as their positioning, as far as where they're going across the map, and that was just a done deal. Team Little Eagles at the end soar up higher than the Naga itself. So to our summers out there, the fans of TME rejoice for now because they will be moving on to the semi. Finals. This concludes our match one of the quarterfinals are the yes. cut. This is not yet over for Nago Esports. They made it this far, are they? They had a yes. rough they had a good start, a rough midweek, and then now still clawing themselves back up to the rankings with really surprising wins, granting them a chance to go to the semifinals. I think they have made it through this. They made it this far, they should be proud. And unfortunately for Nago Esports, I mean at least, and I have to give my clues to them because uh, this was the split that they managed to make a comeback stronger than ever. I really liked what I saw. Like I mentioned, one thing I do like about them is the organization. Fortunately, as far as hashtag unbi unfinished business goes, the business will unfortunately have to be left unfinished for now with this split. And for the Eagles, they will soar yes. high there onto the semifinals. So. I think we'll be going to a short break here to resume on to our match too, which would be Imperium Pro Team versus Varsity x ray Esports. We are another team that has shown growth all throughout the group stages. And now, they have a shot to make it to the semifinals. But for Imperium Pro Team, this will be interesting because expect that a role swap will happen. Hey, we'll be playing in the jungle. Ooh. I will be playing as the ADC. So that's something to look forward to, you guys. So we'll be going to a short break here, and we'll be back with match two. We have been the Shoutcasters. My name is Vulcan. With me was Arctic. See you after the short break for the continuation of our quarterfinals. Iconic, dismounted, scarless god, and respecting the flash. Rebecca with the two-man knockoff. This is a cleanup. Yes, looks like the cleanup crew has come, and that cleanup crew's name is not the esports, as that will step up to cure. Oh, in front of the game, defense here by Nano Esports. Will it take it down here? That would be, and it gets in there, so that will inspire and on their side. So I don't think they, oh, they'll say, oh, he does not survive at all. He's going to do anything here. Calculated with the right, with the roots, dealing so much damage. AOE, TME, scrambling around. Looks like Kobe already went out of the fight, leaving behind Trevor and KLC for the Aga Esports to Or they will up. try to get something instead of the Inferno. Elder coming in, JLC has, no, he does not have ultimate, but he has the rupture to set it up for Marquis. Sad night flag, it was for oh and no. now Trevor with a flash going in and gets the con mid air and knocks them up. Oh! On Sarah! Yes! It's 
not just the, it's the fact that Grabber is really making his powerful play. But then Naga Esports will try to make their own. And now it's their time to try here. They're close up together into the try brush. Here comes Petrilia. Will it just start? Will it be enough for Naga Esports to fight back? No, Grabber with the address will knock up Luxury. Actually denied that rocket that he could not get away just in time. With the impale dragging him back. And Cardinalena could not do anything. Iconic still has Scarl. Just a bit of help there going on. The rocks, the cool rise does miss he will be taken down but the focus is on the knee that top catch will not get anywhere man mark he's starting to yeah, throw yeah. Yeah. Fucking, fucking oh, the no. first set. Whoa. Oh, what was that immediately Rebenga's engage just got denied. He failed the pulverized the interaction was tricky but the result was good for team LA Eagles right now yeah, okay. Now it's not going to Going for a pick up here. Clever just trying to hit the wall and now Poops. Ooh. Will be forced to get picked up there. Run one. Okay, great well move from coming from Cartier Lane. It restarts the fight here. The initiate back in Marky. Yeah, he's not going anywhere. That's a shutdown to the clan. Iconic will pick it up here and now Poops. I don't think he will be side. Hello, Drake. Oh, that's the reset, and then he will start the fight. Impale was out there, but they were not able to secure the kill. So Rebecca used the left one to escape, and now they don't have the tools. They don't have it anymore. They burned it just to get away. Now TME with the Galia, with the Choka. They have the pickup, they have the CC, and that will be the round more they can. So, and with that VLT. Oh, pops the glory. But we're seeing a re-engage, watch the Zack and the clan go into the back line of TME. Now they try to kite for Marky. Marky with the tracks oh, here no. immediately. Oh my god, stops the tracks of the play. And now with the gallery, the front line causing the three members of NE. Now leaving behind Rebecca here with the Zack. That will be Team and Eagles slowing down here. They would just take away this game or the game may just move on to the semi-final. Oh man, this is so big for Team Manila Eagles. They're just cleaning up Naga Esports. I don't want to the They're going to be taking now the second tier third. Man talk. Remember, okay, there's the four man. Oh, what a delivery, but no one to see it being delivered to them. No damage follow up there from the NE. And now it will be. Team Manila Eagles immediately re engaged right here. hear that shoulder with the slow, with the scream and the rupture. What a great pickoff. Yeah, and look at this. Iconic, he's trying to push out this bot lane. You can see the bloodstone. Oh dear lord, looks like TME punishing NE. Now, Nago Esports, they're now not being coordinated here, going on in their own, and TME will just take advantage of the missing coordination. Yeah, Naga Esports there is shape though. Quite unfortunate, but let's see if Naga Esports can turn things around the foot. Yeah, we'll see. Low on that. Oh. They will try and fix their mistakes here. But Trevor immediately removes Luxuria. The realm was used, but the members were too focused on Trevor because they were saying that Luxuria is going to kill somebody, help them. But no, no one's helping him. They want to go to JLC, but in the end, tunnel vision there. And now, is this the game? This is going to be the game. Summoners, we have our semi final. Yes, we do indeed, Vulcan. Look at the death timers right here. Luxuria is going to be up any second now. So, baka ito ang maging ticket ng Naga Esports just to keep the dream alive. Pero mukhang very intent ang Team Manila Eagles na tapusin ang game ito. Luxuria is up now. Let's see what he does. Oh, he's going to jump out of there. Has to just jump into safety. Just jump to safety. But I don't know. They are alive here. Oh! What just happened? Oh, the shiv and the cannon plus the IE. That is fine, but you know what's more satisfying? TMA with the endurance. Surviving the best of five seas, they will be the ones to come up.